and welcome back to Donkey Kong Country. Moving right along to Crim Croc. <coughs> Fuck. Bless you. <laughs> Crim Croc. <laughs> sure, why not? God, my my mind's been going blank on me. I almost slipped the name, so thank you for covering for me, Danny. I appreciate it. <laughs> anyway, thanks for covering me on and, 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 and all your snot, <laughs> Danny. Uh, oh, 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 Danny! <laughs> you got all over my some call me Johnny shirt. Damn it! <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Bless you, Danny. I, I, like, I don't have any more sneezes in me. <laughs> Are you sure? Yes. Oh, okay, good. I'm not, I'm Danny! <laughs> nah, no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Can you imagine? <laughs> oh, okay, in memory serves, this bonus room right here, okay, this will play tricks on you. So what you need to do is get three single banana peels, and it'll spawn a barrel. For whatever you do, pretend like the floor is lava, make sure you have that barrel, and be ready to sh chuck that barrel on the other side of that wall, because it'll lead you into it yet another bonus room. So we have a bonus room within a bonus room. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. More no, extra no, lives. Take, yeah, t yeah, take a what? yeah, take a while guess on what this spells out. Also, every word you spell out, it, it gives you different colored balloons, which means, yeah, even more extra lives. Yeah, you know, the red balloon give you one life, the green balloon give you two lives, the blue balloon give you three lives. My god. <laughs> I, don't think, I don't think DK's dying anytime soon. <laughs> That's right. It's like, it's like, it's like, good lord, that bonus room will give you just, like, nearly as many lives as, as, as many as you can get in the espresso bonus room. I, I, <laughs> I missed. I missed. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> uh, but, but yeah, but yeah. No, but yeah, for the record, folks, that's the only time you're ever going to run into something like that. You run into a bonus room within another bonus room. So, yeah, just this first level of Creme Croc Industries is what you'll have to worry about. You know, also... Sorry. Oh, sorry, go ahead. So I, I kind of have to wonder something. So when one of the Kongs gets hit, you know, their first instinct is to run off scared, right? Uh, and then yes. to to, re to to get them back, you need to you, you, you need to you need to smash a barrel with the DK logo on it to, to, to free them, right? Yes. So is it implying that after they get hit, they get captured immediately and then trapped inside a barrel? Maybe. I mean, I mean, m much like the overall story with this game or whatever, they don't really explain it like within an intro or something like that. In this case, it's never really explained. Like, what happens when they run away? It's like, do they get captured? Do they somehow find themselves in a barrel for some dumb do, reason? Do they, do they just hide? <laughs> <laughs> so, I you know, 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 you know what? When you, when you put it like that, that actually makes more sense to them getting captured. Well, I mean, the B them getting captured also makes sense, considering the context of DKC2 and DKC3. Nah, 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 I suppose, but it's like... But it's like, but it's like, yeah, the first instinct was like, yeah, you, uh, yeah, you, uh, they, uh, end up running off scare, so them hiding themselves in a barrel, it's like, okay, yeah, I can believe that, that them getting captured or whatever. I mean, I mean, technically, the only time we ever see somebody getting captured in this game was Diddy Kong, because keep in mind, in the Game Boy Advance, like, a quote-unquote remake of this game, um, yeah, they do, pro they did provide the introduction, where, um, um, Diddy Kong was doing, like, some hero training, because he wants to be much like Donkey Kong, so he guards his, uh, uh, banana horde, and then that's when King K. Rool and his Kremlings come in, which they overrun Diddy Kong, and that's how Diddy Kong was able, to, was somehow in a, uh, a DK barrel at the beginning of the very first level. Hmm. So they capture Diddy, and then just leave him, and then just leave him by by DK's front door. <laughs> Send a I, message. I, I, I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> but, they, 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 but, they, but they forget to decapitate him. They, they just send the whole body. <laughs> oh God! You got, you guys did it wrong. <laughs> I said only send the head. 
You gotta send, you gotta send them in pieces. <laughs> oh my it goodness! It's like cheaper shipping. <laughs> <laughs> cheaper shipping. Now, to be fair, the the Kremlings ever were the smartest, the, the, the smartest mooks. So, <laughs> no, yeah, you, no, you're you're absolutely right. <laughs> but oh my god, <laughs> it's. As, as, as I know, we, we, need, we, need to be, we, need, we need to be on the lookout for our expenses when it comes to shipping this stuff. We can't, it's like, we can't Amazon Prime this shit. Wait, hold on, Danny, question. How does sending it in pieces, like, 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 like reduce shipping? Uh, wait. What, from just lost, from just the loss of blood? No, like, if you, like, you know, you, you sent, sending a head is gonna weigh more than sending some fingers. Oh, well, yeah, true, but even then, it's like... Well, I mean, I guess it depends. Like, are we sending the whole body in pieces, or only just, or, or only a specific body piece? Yeah, you just send pieces like one at a time. But I'm sure yeah. you. Well, I mean, well, even that, I'm sure you you still you still spend the same amount. Like, if, if you if you if, even if you send it in increments as opposed to all at once. And even then, that, uh. that doesn't matter if if the, if the body is still in uh, one piece. Doesn't matter how much you cut it up. I mean. Sure, there's blood loss, which may which may reduce some, which may reduce some amount of weight, but it'll still, for the most part, weigh the same. Uh, uh, uh considering how the weighing system works or whatever, it's like, it's like you, know, it's it's like for the most part, like something like yeah, it'll yeah, it's like you weigh something once and you get this amount, but say but then you weigh it again, and sometimes the scale will read as like like a little bit a little bit more heavy or a little bit lighter. Sometimes I I know it's weird, but but it's like I figured this out because because keep in mind I weigh freaking produce. Granted, granted, is, granted is a completely different context compared to say I don't know, shipping body parts. <laughs> then again, how the hell do we how the hell do we get into a discussion about shipping body parts? When we when we talked about how you know the, the Kong getting trapped inside barrels, and then you brought up how in the in the in the GBA port. Or remake or whatever, how they made a cutscene where they actually capture D Diddy and shove him into a barrel and then just leave him by DK's front door. Okay, now he's just intentionally making me look stupid. I don't appreciate that, good sir. <laughs> Rude. You, you, you asked. Stop that. <laughs> that was rhetorical. Well, I gave you a rhetorical God. answer. That's stupid. You're stupid. Stop being stupid. Or. Maybe I'm just being rhetorical. No! No, you're not! God- Oh, fuck. Oh, God, I okay, I totally walked right into that one. Fuck me. It's like my favorite response to that. God damn it. It, it, was, it was a rhetorical question! Well, I gave you a rhetorical answer! God damn it! God damn it, BJ! It's like my favorite response ever. God damn it. I, lo I love you, but god damn it. Uh, it's like what? It's like while we're at it, let's talk. Let's talk about how it's like. Hmm, wonder how it would be like if we were to sell somebody's organs on eBay. It's like, illegal. God. I'm fairly certain they would catch on to that really quickly. Yes. Right. Yes. Well, yeah. Flat. Yeah. No. Duh. <laughs> that was also a no-brainer. God damn it. Well, I gave you a no-brainer answer. Mother. <laughs> Mother! <laughs> Shut this man up! <laughs> sorry. So, uh, so, 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 sorry, brother. My mother's over in San Antonio right now. <laughs> no, 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 I was afraid to mine. <laughs> God. Wink. So how many lives do you think we've accumulated at this point? I don't oh. know. God. We're probably never gonna find out either, are we? Unfor unfortunately, not. Well, <laughs> because, because, yeah, because, yeah, because like I said, it's like they programmed the game to only cap to sh display only ninety nine lives. And you never go below even though, that. Even <laughs> yeah, we're, yeah, it's like I don't know. Something tells me we're probably like close to one hundred twenty. That's a that's a very rough guess. I want to say more than that, honestly. Uh, maybe because <laughs> you've been stuck at ninety nine for a while now. That, that is true, yeah. Okay, oh, the, oh yeah, oh, this secret area. That This secret area can be kind of a pain, because you go, oh, Jesus Christ, okay. That, 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 that freak. <laughs> Wait, what was that? Mass. 
Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, well, it's another espresso bonus game. All right. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. No. Oh, yeah, that one can be kind of a pain considering how fast those bees move up and down. <laughs> well, oh. Oh, oh yeah, the, oh, yeah, that's right. Let her end. <laughs> Is everybody okay. get back up there? Uh, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like with the with the elevators oh, or okay. the lift or the lifts. Yeah, it's like I, I, I don't, I don't know. The level, the level spe like spe specifically claims that this is uh, elevator antics. So, so I guess they're implying that these are elevators. But I don't know. Would you call? Would you technically call these elevators or lifts? That's actually. A good, is there even? Is there even really a difference? Well, I know it's like um. What was that? Um. I mean, I guess I know we've it. elevators might be might be referring to like strictly electronical, whereas lifts may be using more pr like more primitive technology. Yeah, yeah, because because I know it's like a good example of that would be um, what was it like um the lifts that you go up and say um, Oddworld Abe's Odyssey or Oddworld Abe's Exodus, and then I remember we pointed out like um like we were trying to figure out the appropriate term for the same uh form of machinery in the mine level in Ducktales Remastered. Hmm. So it's like, yeah, I don't know. It's like, I don't know. You you know, these these are essentially implying that these are quote unquote elevators. I don't know. I feel like this is more of a uh, lift oh, than anything. Oh, okay. Here's the difference. There actually is no difference. It's just a culture thing. We call them elevators here in the U.S., but in Britain they call them lifts. That's oh. the difference. It's like, oh, really? It's like how it's like how here in America we call we call erasers erasers, but in Britain they call them rubbers. Like it's it's pretty much that. God damn. Like Brits. how we call them how we call them cookies and they call them biscuits. That's the difference. <laughs> yeah, you goddamn Brits. <laughs> Matt Matt just sneezes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why, but I suddenly hate Amer. I, I, su I suddenly hate my American friends. <laughs> <laughs> I'm starting to think they're uh, they're kind of jerks. <laughs> like all of America. <laughs> America, America, fuck yeah. <laughs> America, fuck, fuck no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great minds. Great minds think alike. Yes. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh my god! Brothers! Okay, hold on. So we just saw there. Am I the only one that gets kind of scared? Like whenever, like when you lose Espresso, he always sw he always swims frantically left and right, and then on, or, or, on it, guard. It, 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 I'm sorry. Yeah, you're right. On guard. Sorry. Like he he swims in a straight line, but when he hits a wall, he turns around. So like, am I the only one that ever gets scared? Like when you lose him? Like and then but then. But when he makes his, his U-turn and then head straight towards you, that you think that you, you may think at first that he's an enemy. He's like running right at you. You know, you know that's, that something tells me that may that I may have gotten the same feeling a few times before. Because like, because like in, in the poison lake, like in the poison lake is like they bring up like all the sharks and piranhas and all that. So here I am, just like being really hesitant about like accidentally running to. Oh <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> that and the, that and those things. Yes. Um, what do you mean? What was it? I like to say spiked tires underwater. Yeah, I I know I know it it. it I mean, again, in a car. Yeah, I know. In a cartoony like video game, I know. It's it's bizarre. Oh, geez. I mean, there's this cartoon, and then this is the suspension. Like my suspension of disbelief can only go so far, Ryan. <laughs> tires float. <laughs> but do but do tires with spikes float? As long as they're full of air, I imagine. And even then, they're made of rubber. Rubber floats. Yeah, plus on top of that, they kind of were already floating from the get-go. I mean, how else could they move around in circles and move from left to right in certain uh, areas when underwater? When something floats, it goes up. Not left, not right, certainly not down, it goes up. <laughs> that's in the a definition, realistic sense. That's the, re that's the definition of floating. <laughs> no shit. But in a cartoony sense, fuck physics. 
In fact, while you're at it, in fact, while we're at it, let's go ahead and try to get into it. Let's try to question, hmm, how is it that monkeys can hold their breath in underwater for so long? Clearly, don't you know monkeys have gills? No. <laughs> God. Now, what, you don't, um, what you don't see is they actually have, they actually have knuckles as air necklace. It's like if, if monkeys had gills, and it's like that. It's like, Winston, are you hiding something from me? That said, you know, the ability to, to either to, the ability to infinite, infinitely hold your breath underwater, or just straight up breathe underwater, or in space, regardless, seems to be rather inconsistent between games, like of, of series. It's like, like in Mar Mario, you know, Mario's bad about this too. You know, there are plenty of Mario games where you get, where, 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 yeah, he can hold his breath underwater indefinitely, and then others where he can drown. Like, the fuck. I mean, right. the, honestly, there's only one. There's only two characters I can think of that are actually consistent with, or, or, or at least immediately anyway. I'm sure there are others, but like I said, immediately, um, that are actually consistent on whether or not you can hold your breath indefinitely underwater, or if you drown every time in water. The one that can always hold their breath indefinitely underwater, regardless of the game, is Kirby. No matter what game it is, Kirby's always able to hold his breath underwater indefinitely. But that more than likely has to do with the fact that he is, you know. A, a, he's a puffball. And honestly, you see how he inhales? He probably doesn't even need to breathe. No. And then the, the one that always drowns no matter what game he's in, Sonic. Tick. Yes. But then again, that, 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 that's, a game, that, that's a gameplay mechanic. Sonic can't swim. So it only makes sense that water would be, you know, a hazard more than, you know, a part of the level. Yeah, yeah, in that in that context, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, but between like Mario and DK, like yeah, like some games they can some games they can breathe underwater, some games they can drown. Like, there's no real consistency. Yeah, that that is true. I mean, at least with with characters like Donkey Kong or Diddy Kong, they don't need to get air bubbles or collect coins to get air. They just they just don't need to. They just can hold their breath for as long as they can, even with their mouths open. Because keep in mind, with their swimming animations, in a way, they do either have their mouths consistently open all the time, or or in cases like Diddy, his mouth opens and closes very rapidly. Yeah. Boing, boing. Wee! <laughs> I tried to say woo with it, but my voice cracked. God damn it. <laughs> 25 years, almost 25, almost 20, like I'll, I'll be 25 in less than a month and my voice is still cracking. What the fuck? Uh, Does that ever be, stop? You'd be surprised. Uh, you'd be, uh, uh, well, I, uh, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it's like, it's kind of hard to say. I mean, it's, I mean, it's like. I'm 20. I was like, I just turned 26, and I think I've still had occasions now and again where my voice cracks. Being an adult sucks. <laughs> I, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, paying bills and paying off like car insurance. Okay, that's fine and all that, but voice cracking is like, God, that fucking sucks. Even then, I, I already got a new, I already got a new hospital bill that I got to add thanks to you know my my visit my visit from needing to go there after my after my after my last kidney stone. Oh. Sigh. Uh, yeah, I know. I know, at the, at the time, though, I was sitting here like, it's worth it just to get those pain meds in me. Ugh, right. And honestly, compared to that pain, I I'd much rather the pain in my wallet than, the pain, than that pain ever again. And honestly, and, yeah. and unfortunately, I'm at some point probably gonna go through it again. And it sucks. Oh, no, oh, no. No, no. no. The, 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 well, no. That, that, that's that's not be, that's not me being pessimistic, Ryan. That's just actually fact. Oh, uh, it's it's a thing where even if they can't find any more kidney stones in your system, generally, if you have if if you have even one kidney stone, more than likely you're going to have you're going to have more. Ah, uh, that's dumb. Yeah. But they're not wrong. I mean, my first kidney stone was last December, like almost a year ago, and it just happened again. Rent, I randomly out of nowhere a few weeks ago. Also, wee! Oh. 
so, yeah, yes. For so what exactly causes a kidney stone? It could be a number of things. It can be um, too much sugar intake, which more than likely was was the reason for me. But um, well, actually, no, because here's the weird thing. Um, the first time it happened, it was when I was living with Pikachu, and we were we kind of limited ourselves on food because you know we, 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 we were paying for it ourselves, even when we were living with our parents. Um, so you know, yeah, we kind of limited ourselves, and we didn't have that much sugar. So. The other thing that can cause it, and this is, is pure bad luck from genetics. And my dad does have kidney stones, quite often, actually. And he's a very healthy uh, guy. Huh. So... Like, he exercises a lot, like he, like he, like, yeah, he does a lot of exercising, he, he eats very healthy, but he still gets them. So... For all I know, it, it, it could be because I, I eat a lot of sugar, or it could just be because of bad luck in genetics. Hmm. Could be both. Could be both. Alright, okay. Alright, now anyway, go, all right, going back to this now. Alright, so... The, just with, uh... This, uh, boss drum... Or whatnot. Alright, so every time you hit him... Um, he'll end up trying to slam down on you. The new... Numerous times, depending on how many times you hit him. And then after those certain amount of times he tries to land on you, he ends up spawning certain enemies. What does a barrel Which need with went... bananas anyway? A what? What does a barrel need with bananas anyway? That's a good question. <laughs> because it's hungry? It's like, it's like, what? It's. it's... <laughs> well, well, yeah, well, hey, you, hey, don't you know a barrel's gotta eat? <laughs> Yes, yeah, so I guess the same thing can be said for like something like a bee, for instance. It's like, what would a bee want with bananas? I don't recall. I don't recall these bees, you know, be covered in like I don't know pollen or honey or something. I don't know. Yeah, not with the bananas. Yeah, well, although, 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 it's like I, I'm honestly surprised that it's like um when it comes to the variety of enemies that that boss drum spawns, it's like, okay, yeah, we have, um, like the big, like the big Kremlings with like the, with the pot bellies and the army hats or whatever. It's like, okay, yeah, we have bulky enemies like those, but it's like, I'm surprised the, the boss itself doesn't spawn like crush us, you know, the bodybuilding of, of Kremlings. Cause at least, at least with the, with the, at least compared to the other enemies, those are probably one of the most bulkiest enemies you can find out there. So, so it's like, I'm surprised you didn't add enemies like that, but no, it's like, yeah, instead we get more simpler enemies like the snakes, or naughties, or claptraps, you know, easier levels that no matter which uh, Kong you control, you could take out in just one jump. Or one roll or card, card wheel, depending on how you want to approach it. Uh, but, but anyway, that'll pretty much do it for this part of a Donkey Kong Country. So, uh, join us next time as we get onto the last area before we get at the, the final boss. We're heading into the Chimp Caverns. We will see you guys then.